Hey, welcome. This is part seven of Introduction to DMX Lighting. Uh, this part, we're going to talk about creating chases. So chases are a sequence of scenes. Uh, sequences are also called steps. So every scene that you have, here's an example of one scene, another scene, another scene. These are steps. So we take a scene that becomes a step in a chase. Uh, so a chase consists of steps. Each step is a scene. You can play a scene in any step position or order. So we can do this one as number one, number two, three, two, one, however we like. So first thing we should plan the ch our, our chase. What we want to do is look at our script and uh, what the scenes are stored in memory. So I've got a little simple one here. I'm going to have step one is going to be scene one, which is my pars are red, the robos are off. Step two is going to use scene three where the pars are going to turn blue, the robos are off. Step four, pars are blue, the robos are on blue, and so on. Right. So we, we have a list of things that we want to do. Programming chases, we're going to use a Behringer Eurolite LC2412. Other DMX consoles are going to be similar. In our Behringer, we can have up to 99 separate chases being programmed. So in this picture here, we see that this is looking at step one of chase 99 on it. Uh, each chase can have up to 99 scenes and to a total of 650 scenes stored for all chases. So it's quite versatile. Uh, we select the bank that has the stored scenes you wish to use. Uh, we're going to use bank 9. That's where we stored our scenes. Uh, press the chase key to be in programming. So here's our chase key. And we press that. And uh, what we'll see, uh, we'll see something like this. We'll say chase number 1, uh, step 6. So let's see what happens here. So here's it says this is chase number 1, step 1, right? Uh, so we compress the soft B key to select the memory. So here's the soft key B key. We'll, we'll press that. We're in the memory mode. And then what we indicate is step one of the chase is not programmed uh, and it's using memory bank nine. So what we can do is go back to our flash keys, which indicated our scenes. We press that and all of a sudden we'd see over here is our flash. So this would be step one is using scene one that we programmed in bank nine. And we hit the soft A key and that would hit enter. Uh, then what happens as soon as we hit enter, this automatically advances to step two. We put in our select the next scene we want through our flash ones. It'll change here, hit enter, and we'll program it. When we're done, we press quit. When you want to run the chase, uh, should be no lights on, on the board, so all the lights should be off. We press and hold the number key located in the chase section. Here's the number key. We press and hold it and that will light up our uh, chase menu. We'll select which chase we want and we use a scroll wheel to select it. Then we set our maximum dimmer up to 100, chase dimmer up to 100. Uh, our crossfade up here is very fast, zero. Down here is 10, so we're going to put it up to zero because we want to test it. And our speed slider to 0.1 right about here. Running the chases. So we're going to manually step through the chase by pressing the step key. Uh, what you want to make sure is that none of these buttons are on. And when we press this, what will happen every time we press, it'll step through to the next uh, step. So we can press it every time we press. It goes step one, step two, step three, and we can verify. Now, if we wanted to have it automatically run, what we'll do is we'll turn on the sound run button. And when it there can be either it can be red would be sound, uh, yellow would be run. So when you press it and the yellow light turns on, then what'll happen is it'll run through our uh, chase. Uh, we can control the speed using this button and the crossfade using this one. So this is a crossfade between uh, steps, and this is the, how fast each uh, one of them wants to go. Hi, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, show you how to create chases and then also to run them. So very first thing, we want to program it. So what we're going to do is we hit the chase button up here and we see that we have our memories. Um, this one is has set up for chase number two, which has eight uh, steps already programmed. So what we're going to do is just move ahead to chase number three. And what we're going to do is program, so we hit the memory button. So step one, there's nothing in there. So what I do is I come over, I look at my script. It said scene number one should be done. So now what this says is it's step one, scene one from bank nine. So you should have this set to the bank that you've stored your scenes in. So now we've got that done. I'm going to hit enter. When I hit enter, it automatically steps to the next one. And when I check my script, 
I'm going to, uh, I'm just looking at my script now, it says it should go to scene number three. So I press flash number three, and that shows up that it's step two, scene three, from bank nine. Hit enter. Done. I look at my script, it says four. So I've done four, I hit enter. The next one says it's a one, back to a one. I hit enter. Uh, next one is two, hit two enter uh, next one is four hit enter uh, scene seven is three again hit enter uh, last one is back to one so I hit one and enter so now my scenes are stored so next thing I want to do is I want to run them so I make sure that my main I'm going to quit to save the whole kit and caboodle I'm going to set my main on full my chase up on full my crossfader to zero so that's uh, almost no crossfading going on between the speed of the crossfader I'll say half a second I'm gonna press this button the number I come over here the number and it says it's on chase number two I want chase number three there's chase number three now I'm set to go and now you can step through using the step button here's step so let's see if this works uh, just one sec here I'm gonna turn this down a bit I've got a problem with one light, so let's see if it's stepping. There we go, that's scene number two, number three, number four, or steps. We're back to one. All right, so let's just do, uh, turn off the light so we can see this a little bit better. The step button allows you to uh, step through it and take a, a, a look quickly so step one was all red step two is blue just the center ones step three turns on the uh, robo lights you can see them move a little bit we pre uh, uh, positioned them in between so they're not scooting all over the place uh, we're back to, to a red we've got green with the white robo lights we've got uh, blue blue off and go back to red all right so if we want it to run we can press the run button and now it should run through so let's see how fast it goes should be running yep it depends on the speed that we set now it's automatically running our scene and we can control the speed with the uh, and the duration with these controls here all right so if I go like this I'm slowing it down, it'll take a longer time, or I can speed it up. Should have faster time here. Now, uh, this completes uh, Introduction to DMS Lighting Part 7, Creating Chases. In Part 8, we'll look at Sound to Light.